वेलकम बैक गाइस यू आर वाचिंग ब्रदर्स टुगेदर ओके नाउ लीव ऑल द ओपिनियंस असाइड लीव योर पेरेंट्स ओपिनियन लीव योर फ्रेंड्स ओपिनियन लीव योर टीचर्स ओपिनियन लीव एवरीथिंग असाइड एंड जस्ट मेक योरसेल्फ रेडी फॉर अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच आई विल बी आस्किंग टू यू डू यू समवेयर फील दैट यू हैव द एबिलिटी टू क्रैक केसीईटी एग्जाम इफ यू गिव योर 110% एफर्ट इन दीस 20 डेज और इफ यू वर्क लाइक यू हैव नेवर वर्क बिफोर If you do that, do you feel that you can, you have the ability to crack this KCET exam? Even if your mind may be filled with the opinions of others that it is not possible, bro, what are you talking about? The two years of repression is required for KCET, and what can we do in these twenty days? But you're, I'm pretty sure that your heart will be telling from somewhere that it is possible if you work like you have never worked before. If it is happening, if your heart is telling you that you have the ability and you can do it, then I don't need to give any justification regarding this question of can we you crack KCET in the upcoming twenty days, guys? Yes, guys, this was what I was expecting and I thought of arriving to it rather than me telling that it is possible. Uh, when when you ask me, I'll tell you that it is. definitely possible if you give your 110% effort i am asking nothing from you your 110% effort and complete focus on your studies these 20 days 20 days is uh, 20 into 24 hours so you have around uh, 480 hours in which even if you divide uh, into three parts it will be it will be having around 150 more than 150 each so when you have 150 hours in your hand so this is a big matter and I don't think uh, there is any space for any uh, distractions or anything now. Cause when there are only twenty days left, if your focus is completely on KCET and completely you are indulged in uh, getting to your dream or getting a seat in your dream college, then nothing can stop you guys. So, with that note, let's start this video. I'll be discussing a lot of things regarding what I did in these twenty days and what you can do and what things you can inculcate in your routine. that will help you reach your uh, dream college in these 20 days and how can you double your score in these 20 days i'll be talking about topics like this in the upcoming stages of the video but before moving on to the video i'd like to suggest you to subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss out any informative video like this i have already uploaded the chapter wise weightage distribution for all the three subjects and how to study in strategies to tackle all the subjects separately and the links have been provided in the description kindly check it out if you haven't checked it out yet and even in the future i am planning of uploading videos regarding books to refer and many things like that which will be highly useful for all of you who are appearing for kc 2023 so i suggest you to click on the notifications button and set it to all so that you will be notified as soon as i upload any kind of new video yeah now let's start this video guys so first things first let us talk about the remaining 20 days and how you can utilize it to the maximum let the first 15 days be there for covering uh, the syllabus or the remaining syllabus it depends on the your uh, level of preparation even if you haven't prepared anything till now you still have the opportunity guys as i said earlier in the introduction part of the video nothing is impossible if you feel it is possible guys so even if you haven't started anything yet if you are someone who is starting now i would like to suggest you to take these 15 days as an opportunity to cover all the high weightage chapters at least yes guys you heard it right if you are someone who haven't prepared anything yet i would strongly suggest you to go through the high weightage chapters first i have already uploaded three videos separately for physics chemistry and mathematics wherein i have discussed what are the chapters through which the majority of the questions are coming from i would like to suggest you to go through them once and just prepare a priority list for yourselves and just focus on the high weightage chapters first so that once you are done with the high weightage chapters then the low weightage chapters can be dealt with but well, if you are done with this this will give you a lot of confidence cause the majority of the questions come from that itself yeah the first thing is that this the first 15 days i mean till around may 15th or may 14th if i were you then i would have just uh, covered the portions of all the remaining things whatever i have done a little bit and the partial things and the complete things and based on the pri uh, priority of uh, weightage i mean based on the priority based on the weightage I I would have completed all the chapters at least once. So this is where uh, the smart work again comes into picture. So now uh, with uh, yeah, I am telling you to complete the syllabus in fifteen days. That doesn't mean you go on through each chapter and give it six to seven hours and all. I have already discussed about smart work in my previous videos also. So uh, prioritize things and just go through them. And now. when it comes to this uh, 15 days i told you to complete your syllabus at least once based on the priority order which is uh, on uh, done with reference to the chapter wise weightage distribution 
So now the important questions which comes in your mind is how to complete a chapter now. So there were many comments too which asked me how to uh, master a chapter for KCAT. So what I was doing during my preparation was first I, I was just going on through the theory. Suppose I take a chapter uh, in physics. So I take electrostatics. I have discussed about electrostatics a lot in my previous video in which I have discussed about physics uh, chapter wise distribution. It is it holds a lot of weightage guys again I am repeating. Yeah. When electrostatics has been taken by me, I was just starting, I was just going through the theory part. Yes guys, listen to it correctly. This was what I was doing and it has worked for me. So I was just uh, going through the theory once. Even in the theory, if I go through once, I wasn't getting the entire thing in one go. I was uh, trying to take myself to the problem side, even with some theory left out. This is because uh, many people just uh, hold on to the theory and they fail to allocate time for the solving of problems. That is where they lag behind. So that is what I thought and that was my mindset to just enter the problems arena even without knowing the complete theory. And then when I started solving some problems, starting in the five problems, suppose you take five problems and you try to solve. And even if you, uh, uh, if you are able to solve at least one, then you are good to go guys because even that was happening with me i was solving around one question and the remaining four questions what i used to do was i was going through the solution and now comes the important part when you go through the around five to six questions it may be pyqs or it may be module questions or it may be important questions any kind of thing now when you are uh, trying and when you are feeling that you are feeling a little bit confident about the multiple choice questions which are coming from that chapter I would suggest you to go through the question again. So once you see the solution, again, try to do that uh, solution or whatever you see by your own. So that will give you a lot of confidence guys. And that will be sent to your long term memory, which will come in. It will come handy when you enter the examination hall. So now I thought you got a brief idea regarding what I used to do in order to master a chapter. Start theory first, even if you didn't understand completely, go to problems so that there, when you solve problems, when you see the solutions, you will get further clarity about the theory. Or else if you go on just reading about theory hours together, then it is of no use, guys. In many, in most of the uh, chapters which have problems, so this is the case. And uh, things which are purely theory based, I would like to suggest you to, uh, in, I mean, uh, inculcate some methods which are uh, making flashcards, it may be making uh, revision notes or things like that so that that will be in your mind forever because things like s block p block this inorganic part especially requires a lot of things to be mugged up and that is where even i was struggling so i found out a way in which i used to uh, make a flowchart kind of thing and i used to see it every single day even you see something for around 10 to 12 days that definitely goes to your long term memory guys so that is what happened with me and i'm pretty sure that even that will happen with you guys too so try doing this uh, try uh, doing this and just let me know if you are facing any difficulty and then the next thing is what shall we do in the remaining five days so the first 15 days i just told you to go through the high weighted chapters and solve uh, some uh, questions based on it so that you will get some motivation and some uh, confidence so now the remaining five days for you is for the complete revision and assessment so we will address both things uh, separately so what do you mean by complete revision by complete revision i just mean the revision of all the chapters which you did in these 15 days in a nutshell Suppose again, let me take the example of electrostatics. I'm kind of obsessed with this electrostatics guys. Yeah, when you consider electrostatics, I studied electrostatics in these 15 days and I know the, uh, all the formulas and all the standard field expressions and all. Now, in these last five days, what I should be doing is that I should go through the previous year questions and I should be analyzing the things which I know and the things which the examiner is expecting. So I, I'll repeat it again, guys. I should be analyzing the previous year questions in such a way that I should be able to relate to things which I know and things which the examiner is expecting in the previous uh, five to six years. So this is where you can just boost your marks like anything guys. So this is what I did during that last four to five days, which helped me a lot. So then you will be able to analyze uh, things that you know and what the examiner is expecting from you. And then you can just uh, get better and better. Then comes a point wherein you will be kind of confident in some chapters and you will be highly confident in some chapters. So that is more than enough guys. In these five days, try to at least attempt three to four mock papers in an examination like scenario. Yes guys, you heard it right. Examination like scenario is nothing but a stipulated place wherein you have the stipulated timings and you will be in a closed environment which will be just like an examination. 
wherein you should be uh, getting a hands on experience of how the exam will be because that is where you will uh, that is where I kind of struggled a bit because I didn't have that kind of practice. So try to take the previous year papers. Let it be KCD 2019. Let it be KCD 2020. Take these papers, go through them, kind, uh, attempt a mock paper. Even if you haven't completed the syllabus completely, just give the test guys in these five, last four to five days. This will help you a lot. Even if you are not scoring well, that is not at all an issue. If uh, one thing I suggest to all of the people who continuously keep asking me regarding low scores in the mock exams is that getting low marks in mock exams is good. Okay, so that there's nothing uh, which is an issue there. But the thing is, from one mock test to the next mock test, even if one marks has been increased, then you are going very good. So this is what I suggest people who ask me regarding low scores in the mock test every time. Yeah, when you give successive mock tests, then you will be able to understand where you are going wrong and where, which things are, uh, which things need a lot of attention from you. So there in those five days, when you are revising, you can again uh, create a new priority list wherein you, you will be able to reassess yourself and you will be able to come uh, come, you will be able to come up through that priority list, which will help you a lot. So again, I uh, briefly told you about what you have can do in these 15 days and in the remaining five days, you can just give three to four tests and the same way revise everything off so that you will be golden and you will be good to go for the exam, which is all set to begin from May 20th. When this is on one side, the other side comes a lot of tension, a lot of uh, headache about can I do? So there will be a lot of questions which will be arising in your mind regarding can I do this? Is KCET for me? Can I get a seat in my dream college? Everything happens guys. So everything happens for a good reason. A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. So when you are going to do something big, when you are heading in your uh, in a stipulated path which will take you to your dream college, so there will be a lot of obstacles which will try to stop you and that is where your resilience, your grit should come into play and you should be brave enough to just keep moving on and keep focused on the thing which you need in these 20 days. These friends, parties and all can come again but the KCD 2023 exam doesn't come again and this last 20 days is the last opportunity for all of you to reclaim yourself. So this is a golden opportunity to establish yourselves that you are capable of doing anything when you work on yourself and when you are giving your 100% effort. And in the end, as, a, as an elder brother or as a friend, I'll be suggesting you one thing guys. So keep faith in yourself. I hope many people would have told this for you and you would have uh, felt that uh, this guy is also telling the same thing again. So keeping faith in yourself is really important. Never compare yourself to any other. So you are the only competitor for you. So when you get better than your previous self, when you go to bed today, then think of what you did today and uh, think of uh, one thing that were you better today than the day before. So this is what I always do. So when you just go to bed, think of yourself and think what you did the entire day and uh, just analyze the day and just tell yourself that you did something better, which made you a better person than you were the day before. So there you will be able to analyze the importance of loving yourself and taking care of yourself and having faith in your own abilities that will take you towards success these 20 days are gonna be tough and are gonna be tough for a reason so when you get a seat in your dream college after these 20 days you will be able to uh, go back to these 20 days and you will be proud of the way you worked in these 20 days which led you there and whenever you feel low whenever you run out of motivation think of the life after kct think of yourself in your dream college, perceiving your dream branch, that feeling will motivate you like anything. And if that doesn't motivate you, nothing can guys. I try to convey as much as I can with examples and with the way I used to tackle things and all. So if so even then, if you have any doubts or if you have any uh, suggestions for the upcoming videos, then feel free to put it on the comment section. I'll be always uh, looking through that and I'll be able to think of what can be done regarding it. If you like this video, please click on the like button so that that will give me a um, lot of motivation to come up with same kind of videos in the coming future. Share this video to your friends too so that even they'll be able to uh, gain some motivation and uh, uh, develop the temperament to trust in their abilities and do well in their uh, upcoming KCET exam. I hope all of you have got a clear mindset now to give your 110% effort in these 20 days 
and just not think about the result and if you do that trust me guys you will be proud of yourself after the exam and you'll be telling me the same thing again and uh, if you uh, are feeling the same and if you are just pumped up and if you are ready to give your 110 percent effort in the upcoming 20 days then put that in the comment section so that that will be a kind of motivation for me too and in the same way it will be a motivation for others who are viewing this video or in our community too yeah, with that note uh, this is darshan escoda signing off guys thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye